Ciao and welcome to Geo's Paintbrush, where five minutes is all it takes to be blown away by one of the world's greatest artists. We haven't done a new show in about three weeks, as I've devoted some attention to short pieces on some of our favorite European destinations, set to the power pop of Chicago musician and our cousin, Phil Angotti. As always, you can check out my film shorts through the link at geotheblogger.blogspot.com. Today on Geo's Paintbrush, we head back to Italy this time to explore an early 17th century work by Bartolomeo Manfredi, a painting with classical themes but vivid technicolor action, as only an Italian could capture it. Cupid Chastised, Oil on Canvas, 1605 to 1610, part of the permanent collection of the Art Institute of Chicago. Merry Christmas, everybody, and thanks for joining us. Manfredi's colors reach out and grab you, one instantly recognizes the rich Italian blue, red, and green, a beautiful, crystal-clear, striking image. Manfredi's use of a deep black background to push the colorful figures into the viewer's space to enable them to pop off the canvas practically communicates clearly the artist's devotion to Caravaggio, who pioneered and perfected this technique. Manfredi, one of Caravaggio's most ardent followers, was himself a master of Baroque, the artistic movement that sought to restore the power of emotion in art and portrayed subjects in a more realistic fashion than the Mannerists, who employed a highly technical, over-stylized approach with really complicated poses and positions. For Baroque artists, one can emphasize emotion in their work while at the same time painting naturalistically, and Manfredi's Cupid Chastise is a great example. Manfredi portrays Mars, the god of war, poised to whip the mischievous Cupid with Venus, the goddess of love, and not coincidentally Cupid's mother, pleading with Mars to spare her son the lash. Mars looks like a real professional here, resolute, determined, focused on his target, and perfectly in control, with little outward sign of anger or rage. He's clearly in his element, with not even a tinge of doubt about the correctness of his actions. Venus, on the other hand, goes to work with her own arsenal, with wide, pleading eyes, a hand placed almost gently on Mars' chest, and a cloak that exposes one breast and nearly her entire right side. She doesn't seem to be winning this battle, though, at least not at the moment captured in the painting. Cupid? He looks scared, maybe even panicked, in anticipation of the blows to come. Like children throughout time, he's learning it's more fun to play, to sling arrows without care, than it is to be held to account. Notice how some arrows remain in the quiver, some lay strewn about on the ground, and others are being held by Venus, picking up her son's toys. A classical and timeless theme, a man torn between love and war, and the impact this has on his family, provides the subject matter of this work. As one guide at the Art Institute observed, this theme has been popular fodder for books and films for many years, and continues to be so today. But while Manfredi did not have this next theme in mind, his painting makes me think of another, more modern concept, family dynamics, especially Italian family dynamics. The special Madonna-like status Italian men hold for their mothers, and the especially protective, can-do-no-wrong attitude many Italian mothers hold toward their sons have long been common features of Italian history and culture. Today, many Italian men reside with their parents well into their 30s, more than just about any other industrialized nation on earth. Here we have it as portrayed by Manfredi, a determined father scolding his bold son, and a protective mother seeking to protect her child. Manfredi also captures a wonderful sense of movement, of action in this painting, almost transforming a one-dimensional medium into 3D. While one can see the influence of classical art and the Renaissance in the painting, the idealized human forms, the color, the subject matter, and the common pyramid composition formed by the three figures, it is Manfredi's ability to capture movement and emotion on canvas, to me, that makes this a great painting. The look on Venus's face, Cupid's expression, and the determined anger of Mars as he readies to bring the whip down on Cupid. This painting just lives. The action is so fierce and Mars' resolution so clear that even the doves in the upper right-hand corner are taking flight in the other direction. Everything is in motion here almost like a film on canvas, 
And Manfredi, well, he's the screenwriter, the producer, the director, and the cameraman all rolled into one. Pretty amazing. Thanks for joining us. Like I could without a spot, it's picturesque.